Hi, my name is Ye, and I'm the founder and CEO of Thea Insights. Like, I'd like to talk about the future of AI and finance. We live in an age of an abundance of data, but also an overflow of information. Many of us have the feeling that there is more data to consume every day, but the day isn't getting any longer. We've got emails, chats, newsletters, headlines, interviews, tweets, um, Google, and so on and so forth. We feel that we are constantly missing something, and we find it hard to see the bigger picture. AI has the power to cut through the confusion by synthesizing and distilling a huge amount of information and help us separate signal from noise. My background has been NLP or natural language processing, and together with my brilliant colleagues in economics and finance, we are building in the exciting space intersecting AI and finance. Finance is relevant to almost all of us because, in one way or another, we are investors. From the tiny savings tucked away into your pension funds to the more significant investments into stocks, index funds, ETFs, and other portfolios. But how well do you really know what's inside your investment? Every day, there are billions of new data points on the economy, the markets, the, co the, mo the companies, and the technologies. How do you know what is driving the ups and downs of your pension funds or your portfolios of stocks? What risks are you exposed to, and how to mitigate that? The reality is that most of us are in the dark because it is impossible for us humans to keep track of all that's going on, from a macro level in the economy down to the micro level within each company and asset. Without a clear vision, it is difficult for us to really invest in the things that are aligned with our goals and worldviews. Financial professionals, such as asset managers and wealth advisors, work hard to try to answer these questions for us, but they are faced with the same challenge of information overflow: how to see clearly what industries and themes and new concepts exist in the economy, and for each company, who does what by how much, and why an investment portfolio goes up or down. This is where AI comes in. At my startup, Thea Insights. We're building factual AI to synthesize and distill huge amount of financial information so that you can see the market clearly. We process millions of data points on public companies in real time, and map out the market from the highest level sectors down to over 200 of themes and thousands of niches, telling you for each company what they do and by how much. And we also have a statistical model that explains the level of risk factors for any portfolio asset. For example, you can see that if you invest in solar energy companies, you are also likely exposed to electric vehicles and automotive. If you invest in gaming, you are likely exposed to semiconductors, cloud computing, and media streaming. As another example, if you had invested in funds tracking the Nasdaq 100 index, you can see that in the last month. Your return is mostly driven by cloud computing, mobile phones, semiconductors, social media, and electric vehicles. This is just a small glimpse of what's possible. AI can automate routine tasks of data processing and pattern discovery, freeing up a lot of human labor to focus on making the right decisions. And lastly, I just want to mention that we are at an exciting moment in history, whereby for the first time, perhaps. Silicon intelligence can match or even surpass carbon intelligence in some tasks. However, the future of AI isn't about AI competing with human. It isn't about silicon versus carbon. It is about silicon plus carbon. For the first time, humans have the ability to gain a height of perspective and knowledge that is otherwise impossible, because what would have taken us years to read and digest only takes minutes or seconds for AI. So we are building AI to lift the perspective of humans and help us see more clearly on a higher level. And in finance, this means that AI can help making financial resource allocation more efficient, and our investment more aligned with what we want the future to be. Thank you.